Let's bring in retired four-star General Jack Keane, former Army Vice Chair of Staff, Chairman of the Institute for the Study of War, and a Fox News Senior Strategic Analyst General. It's always great to have you on. Uh, we hear a lot of talk about uh, General Mike Minahan saying the U.S. will be at war with China by 2025. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin says no. In your case, General, you don't think it's as much about timing as, as how important it is having an effective military deterrence which right now we don't have. Fair? Yeah, that, that's absolutely correct, Trace. I mean, first of all, uh, this general was talking in very blunt, direct language to his subordinates. And what we do in peacetime in all the services is prepare for war, and hopefully by doing so, we're deterring war. And that's what he was doing. He, he was making certain his troops understood that war could be around the corner. We have all said the very same thing to our troops at different levels of command uh, during our tenure. But what I think is really going on here, he just came out of the Pacific region. He's very conversant with what mm -hmm. is taking place there and the fact that we have lost our military deterrence. It has eroded because of the 9-11 wars and, and budgets that don't meet mm -hmm. the requirements. And he sees that and knows that China does have a military advantage right now. More ships, more planes and certainly more missiles. And he doesn't certainly want them to take advantage of that, but it's possible they could. It's not knowable what's going on in President Xi's mind, whether it's a year, two years, or five years from now. But what is knowable is that our military deterrence is not what it should be. And I believe that is where the general's coming from, because he knows that we're vulnerable and we have got to fix it. So what's the remedy? I mean, that's the whole thing, General. What's the remedy to get stronger in the Pacific region, if that's the necessity here? And how long will it take? Is it a money issue? Is it, is it something else? It's partially money, and, but it's also a commitment. One, we have to upgun Taiwan. We've got a $19 billion backlog of equipment going to Taiwan that they have paid for. And the backlog is years. The Congress has got to get into this and roll their sleeves up and fix the foreign military sales system with a sense of urgency. And certainly we have to do training with Taiwan in a way that Jennifer just mentioned we're doing with South Korea. We don't do much of any of that with Taiwan. We self-deter ourselves because we don't want to provoke mm -hmm. the Chinese. And yeah. second thing was you got to move our forces, more forces into the region. Yes, more planes. Yes, more ships and more missiles. Mm. We've got to deploy them and make certain that China understands that there is an effective deterrent. And the only way that's going to happen is their generals will look at it and say, well, the cost is too great for us to, to start a war over Taiwan here with the United States because we don't know what the outcome will be. That is the yeah. kind of answer we want. I just quickly, 15 seconds, Jerry, I want to put this on the screen. This is from the Chinese Foreign Ministry concerning uh, Kevin McCarthy's upcoming trip. He says, China opposes any form of official interaction between its Taiwan region and countries having diplomatic ties with China. We hope U.S. lawmakers will abide by the one China principle. What do you think of that very quickly? I mean, they said kind of the same thing when Nancy Pelosi went. We should visit Taiwan and and, and support them, moral support, political support that a political leader would provide. But look at the Secretary of Defense should go. He doesn't. The Secretary of State should go on his own trip. He doesn't. The chairman doesn't go. The Indo-Pacific commander doesn't go. We self-deter ourselves from this mm. because we don't want to provoke China. We've got to stop cuddling this issue and make certain we're providing the support to Taiwan that they need. Yeah. General, great to see you. Thank you, sir. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.